Hey guys, this is Feeding Frenzy 91, and I'm talking about the Sony State of Play. Now, for those of you who don't know, there was a Sony State of Play. And if you haven't watched it, I'll leave a link in the description. Go watch it, then come back to the video if you want, right? Now, I gotta admit, it wasn't really that good. Now, I'm not saying that they didn't do what they came to do. Basically, what they seemed to want to do was less new games and just more updates on games they've already announced. But the problem is that some of these games we've already heard a lot of. Now, some of these announcements were okay, but some of these games were like, like Deathloop. We've already seen a good amount of Deathloop. I don't think we really need to see much more. I think we just need to, I think, I, I mean, like, it looks kind of cool, cool concept and all, but I think we've seen pretty much a, a good amount already. Now, one game that did look interesting that was actually a new announcement was Sifu. It's like this Kung Fu game. It seems like every time you die or something, you kind of get older or something like that. I'm not sure, but... We do see his beard grow, like, substantially near the end of the preview. And that game actually looks interesting to me. It looks like a kung fu beat-em-up. It doesn't look like it's a $60 game. It looks more like probably a $20 game or something, but it looks pretty cool. Other than that, I'm pretty sure they gave no more new game announcements. But what they did give was release dates. We got Oddworld Soulstorm coming April 6th. Kenna coming August 24th. And then they ended the whole thing with a new Final Fantasy. It looks more like a bonus episode. It, I, I don't know. It doesn't look exactly like it's the second episode. I didn't play much of the Final Fantasy VII remake. I watched my sister's now husband play some of it. And it looks okay. One good thing is that they did tell you some games that are going to be upgradable from PS4 to PS5. Such as like Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time, which comes out on the PS5 on March 12th. So other than that... Just nothing really at this direct. And the thing is that I'm not even sure which games were exclusives and which games weren't. Because I don't think Sony really specified for most of those games whether they were going to be like exclusive to their platforms or whether they were coming to other platforms. Like we know Knockout City, that's at least coming to the Switch because that was actually announced at the Nintendo Direct last week. But in any case, this state of play just, it wasn't there for me. And it ended really, like when they said before we go, I'm like, wait a minute, you're ending already? But in reality, there wasn't much like announced at this state of play. Anyway, what did you guys think about the Sony state of play? Did you guys really like it? And are you guys looking forward to any of the games that were shown off? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. May God bless you all.